Are you new to Frontline Education's SIS Ohio Gradebook? Here are 10 features of our gradebook application that will help teachers manage administrative tasks. Number one, district settings. How your district sets up gradebook determines what features and default settings are available for the entire district or building. With the help of your ITC, your district gradebook administrator will input grading scales, configure your LMS integration, and most importantly, configure report cards. Once administrative tasks are completed at the district and building level, teachers can begin to set their own preferences. Gradebook is highly configurable, so please be sure that your settings comply with your district's grading policies. Number two, report card entry screen. Most settings and features are dependent on report cards. This is not the first screen you will access, but starting with the end in mind will help you understand other gradebook features. The report card entry screen is accessible from both the teacher homepage and the class dashboard. On this screen, you can select a course and or students. Report cards can be traditional, think high school with letter grades, or assessment based, think elementary with district selected standards. By using the popular checkmark equals process, you can populate the report card marks based on the assignments or assessments from your gradebook. Depending on your district's policies, you can adjust these scores manually. Click Save and you have completed your report card data entry. Your district gradebook administrator will do the rest to deliver printed or digital report cards to parents and students. Number three, the teacher homepage. When you log into gradebook, your first stop is the teacher homepage. You can immediately select a class on the left but you may want to look at some of the other options here first. In the classes section, you can select edit the list to modify the names of the courses. You can also hide courses so they do not appear on the teacher homepage. Hiding classes is useful when you teach semester courses. Just don't forget to unhide them before second semester begins. You can also search for a student in one of your classes and quickly access the student profile. Much of the information provided on the personal tab integrates from student information. The additional tabs provide even more information about each of your students. Back on the teacher homepage, among the many administration links is group classes together. This allows you to streamline tasks like creating assignments and taking attendance for similar classes. This is a popular feature for band or music teachers, as well as any other similar classes scheduled at the same time. There are many other features to explore on this screen, but let's look at some of these same features on number four, the class dashboard. The class dashboard gives you access to one class at a time. You can easily switch the class in context at the top of the screen. Your student roster includes icons for a quick look at alerts documented in student information, as well as the number of missing assignments and attendance information. You can even enter a daily comment. One of your first tasks on this screen might be to select Update Roster. Here you can reorder the students, assign them to a group within the class, or hide students who withdraw from this class. On the class dashboard, you can also create seating charts, take attendance by roster or by seating chart, send class notifications, view the gradebook grid or the standards-based grid. But wait, there's more. Number five, configuring your preferences. Assignment types are extremely important and must be set up by teachers for each class. Be sure to follow your district's grading policies. Some districts require all teachers to have the same assignment types for consistency. Once your assignment types are created, you can select and configure weighted averages for each class, even for each grading period for that class. Back on the teacher homepage, you can also select set up teacher preferences. These options will set your default selections for fewer clicks. Quiz options and discussion options relate to the embedded online learning dashboard, also known as virtual classroom. General assignment options and mark entry options relate to assignments, which brings us to number six, creating and grading an assignment. 
You can create an assignment from various screens. Just look for the Add an Assignment link. The Assignment Details screen is divided into tabs. On the main tab, you will see any default selections from your teacher preferences. Fill in the assignment information and click Save. You can make changes after you save, including sharing the assignment with other classes. If your class uses an assessment-based report card, you will need to select the assessments that the assignment addresses. Once the assignment is created, the Marks tab is one of the places you can enter marks. You can right-click in a cell to select more options and view shortcut keys. Marks can also be entered on the Gradebook grid or viewed on the standards-based grid, where you can also view summaries and graphs of each assessment or standard. Number 7. Google Classroom Sync If you use Google Classroom and your district administrator configures Gradebook, you have the option to select and import assignment scores directly from your Google Classroom. You can select classes, assignments, and even override existing marks. Google Classroom Sync only allows for numeric mark imports. Next to these assignments on your class dashboard, you will see the Google Classroom icon. Gradebook can also be configured to sync with Canvas or Schoology if your district uses either of these learning management systems. Number 8. Banks If you make use of our Banks options, you can enter information once and then access and reuse that data year after year. Banks are available for assignments, lesson plans, and assignment comments. Next semester or next year when you want to use the same assignment, you have the option to import it. And assignment comments can be entered once and used repeatedly for any assignment. Number 9 sharing information with administrators and others. Your gradebook is accessible to any administrator with the appropriate security. For instance, principals can search for a teacher and view their gradebook, five-day planner, gradebook summary, and seating chart. Both you and your administrator have access to a variety of reports, such as class progress, student progress, and missing assignment reports. From the teacher homepage, you can also allow Gradebook access to long-term substitutes or co-teachers. And finally, number 10, Parent Access Web and Mobile App Versions. Gradebook also allows families and students to view grades and more in the Parent Access Web application and the Frontline Progress Book Parent and Student Mobile App. And as a teacher, you can view information right from the student profile including last login by parents or students. From the class dashboard, you can post homework or class information to share with your parents and students. For more information, check out our Learning Center. Once you have an account, simply click the question mark and you will find articles, videos, and release notes.